Surrey set a huge first innings total at the Oval, but their opponents Yorkshire are well on their way to playing themselves into the game. Sangakara looked in imperious form at the start of day two. He moved into the 90s with relative ease alongside Folks. It wasn't long before the Sri Lankan reached three figures for the seventh time this season, his ton coming off 127 balls. The pair continued to pile on the runs in the London sunshine, and before long the championship's top scorer had reached 150. That before he fell for a magnificent 164 to Brooks. Pope then came and went without scoring, but those two quick losses didn't deter Folks, who will still be harbouring hopes of Ashes selection, his century making it an even more miserable morning for Yorkshire. Surrey reached 531 before Curran became the sixth wicket to fall. He was bowled by Brooks for five, before the visitors managed to nip another one out before lunch. A big wicket too, with Folks finally falling for 110. At the lunch interval, Surrey were 543 for seven. It turned out to be a mini collapse either side of the break, with first Van den Berg and then Mika removed in the same Patterson over. But Clark and Batty added more valuable runs. Their 10th wicket partnership of 47 was ended when Clark was court president Bol Patterson. Surrey 592 all out, over to you Yorkshire. The visitors' first innings began well, openers Cola Cadmore and Marsh putting a 50 partnership on the board in the opening 45 minutes. The White Rose County was 78 without loss at tea. The evening session was one of solid play and consolidation for the visitors. Cola Cadmore was the first of the opening batsmen to reach 50, before Marsh also notched up a half century as Yorkshire moved past 150. Surrey did manage to remove Cola Cadmore before the close of play, Vonnenberg doing the bowling, and the batsman was off for 78. 171 for one was the score at the close of play. A good response so far from Yorkshire, but it's still very much advantage Surrey, who lead by 421 runs going into the third day. <laughs>